everyone so today i just thought i would film a vlog um i have nothing awesome plan um we're still staying at home right now because of covid19 so i my plan for today is just to uh get some work done for my masters i'm doing a master's thesis right now in machine learning um so i'm gonna share more about that later on but today I just have a meeting at 10 a.m. and I have an online class at 6 p.m. which is my last class recorded for my masters. Uh, it's my fifth one. So this morning I just uh, woke up, took a shower, um, got dressed and here I am now. Um, usually after that I just clean my bedroom and then I'll eat breakfast. meeting in 20 minutes but my desk is quite um, a mess <laughs> so I'm gonna clean my desk and then I'll get ready for my meeting quickly minutes to clean my whole desk so right now uh, I need to get ready for my meeting and then I'll uh, explain to you what I'm gonna do today after my meeting um, okay so I don't have any meeting in the end uh, turns out the people I had to meet with are already in other meeting so uh, it's postponed um, so I just wanted to show you um, my workspace so I don't think I've said it before but I just moved back in with my mom because of COVID-19 um, so I used to live in Montreal but now I'm back here um, my lease was up in um, school um. school is online so I I was like, why not save up on rent and just come back here and um, as we won't be able to do much this summer, um, at least here I have a backyard and there's a, there's like things to do a little bit. I can um, take a walk and not be scared of meeting people close because in Mont Montreal I was in a very crowded neighborhood. So I'm quite happy to be here. Um, very much in love with my setup here so and I just got a new chair actually so this one is from autonomous.ai um, here's what it looks like uh, my old chair was actually eight years old um, I still have it just there but the 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 is it called the fur the 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 cuir what is cuir in English wait let me google that 
the letter so the letter was like falling to pieces on the ground really literally um, so I'm very glad that I have a new chair um, many people ask me what I love the most about this chair so let me show you because I keep talking about it so here is the chair so what I really like about this chair and what is really important for me in general for chairs is like the, the back so in many chairs that I try in stores, I always feel like my back is like this. I don't know why. Um, ever since I had surgery for scoliosis, I always feel the need to have a very straight um, back to like support myself. So for this one, it's actually perfect. So it's not too straight and it's not like this. So it's just perfect actually. And that's something I'm really difficult with. And um, I ordered this chair online, so I, I couldn't try it before buying it. So I was very scared of <laughs> of the chair not working well for my back because if it's if it's not working for my back, I will have back pain for sure, and I won't use it on the long run. But it's actually perfect, and there's a, there are a lot of um, settings that we can change, and um, it's all customizable to your needs, um, and it's perfect and it looks very great um, I saw a similar chair on Staples but it looks absolutely cheap and this one is very pretty so I really like it um, it's perfect for my back it's very ergonomic and I don't have any complaint about it um, thank you so much to anonymous.ai who sent me this awesome chair um, it's really helpful for me to work from home right now I don't I'm very grateful to have it and I don't know what I would do without it so I think it's really worth it even if the shipping times are longer than usual right now because of COVID-19 I think it's absolutely worth it to wait and if you can afford to wait I, I totally recommend you this chair so thank you for gifting me this chair every, every day I, I work differently on how to plan my tasks um, these these last few weeks though I've been using a template by Bloom Daily Planner um, so it's just a weekly planner let me show you here is what the planner looks like so I wrote what I wanted to do this week um, for sure I don't entirely follow it like right now we're Wednesday and yesterday I don't know why I was not very inspired to do the work that was written here so I worked on stuff that was later on um, I almost finished speed thing and I did some of these but I, I didn't finish so that's why I didn't check them so yeah right now um, this is my plan for today and I'll probably try to get some of this done too um, I will probably not finish but I also don't plan much for the weekend so I just catch up on what I couldn't do during the week um, it's working for me right now so that's what I'm doing so these days I'm mostly working on writing my master's thesis and also doing a literature review. So I switch between reading, looking for papers and also writing when I'm tired of doing um, searching. So what I did to write my master's thesis is that the first step that I did is that I wrote a complete outline of like a little bit like a um, table of contents so I did exactly that and I went in as much details as I could um, after that I put all of these uh, little sections in my Trello board I'm not sure I like that Trello board yet but um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, and right now I'm just trying to complete some uh, parts of my thesis so uh, a little bit I'm uh, right these days I'm writing about Parkinson's disease in general so the UPDRS test which is Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, so how clinicians evaluate the gauge of the, the disease right now. Um, I also worked on, of course, I'm working in tech, so I have a, I'm doing some machine learning stuff. So I am working with a data set of um, subjects that have Parkinson's disease and are wearing smartwatches um, to, to track their symptoms. So um, I also need to write the section on the databases that I'm using. So I want to write about how the data was collected and um, how the labels, so how the severity of the symptoms were, um, were 
were labeled by the patients so patients had to rate themselves their own symptoms on a scale from zero to four so i want to write about how that was done so that's what i'm gonna do this morning i think at 11 a.m i started working on my thesis i was writing the section on the databases that we are using for the machine learning project we have two databases and i wanted to document a lot of stuff from how the data was collected how long the subjects had to wear the watches and look up what app they were using on their watch there was also a webinar that was held about the databases so i was listening to it again because it has been a few months since i attended that webinar and it helped me a lot to get more information about the databases um, that i couldn't directly find in the scientific paper about the database there's also the whole timeline of the study that I made on draw.io to be able to add the diagram to my thesis and it helps a lot to understand the study. So here you can see that I'm writing my thesis on Overleaf. Of course, I'm using LaTeX. I couldn't live without Overleaf for my thesis. It is so much better than Word. I've been trying to <laughs> write this morning, um, but I don't know, it was very difficult. Um, I guess it's like that sometimes when you're trying to write. Uh, I was I, I kept being um, distracted by my phone so I ended up putting it in an airplane mode and putting it in the drawer next to my desk. So that kind of worked because every time I, I was bored and wanted to just scroll my feed, I, it, it forced me to think that my phone was hidden and I couldn't touch it. So I think it was even working even better than um, Forest for some reason this morning. So yeah, I've, I've, I've wrote a couple of sentences, but it's not enough. Um, it's hard. I was really productive this weekend. Right now we're Wednesday and I feel like every time that I'm very, very, very productive, the next days after that, I'm just, I just can't like get anything done. I cannot get in the zone for some reason. So. I'm a little bit struggling this morning, but I think that's normal when you're writing a thesis. Um, I just feel like I don't want to do anything, so hopefully... But I'm trying to get through it and get through the, the feeling, um, so yeah. just came back from lunch uh, and it's now 1.30 p.m. and I have a class tonight at 6 um, so um, I have a homework that's due tonight I already done it but uh, my my teammate just finished it so I'm gonna see if we have the same answers just to make sure sorry the light is weird um, so I'm I think I also have to revise a course because there are some things I didn't understand um, so I will revise that and ask my questions to the professor tonight So that's my plan for the afternoon and then hopefully I'll be in a study bubble <laughs> So this afternoon when I'm gonna work on zoom with my boyfriend. So what we do is that we um, We just worked on each of our stuff, but we just have a Video call so it's just like to study with me, but with a friend or so if you need motivation as well You can do that. You can just um, Join with a friend or many friends on a, on a zoom room and get to work together. It's like a study group again, but just virtual so um, That's something that has been helping me as well while we work from home so I first started by looking at the homework that is about clustering algorithms. I'm using Notability on my iPad to do some calculations, but I quickly realized that I would be better off programming these in a Jupyter notebook instead of computing everything by hand. I had to calculate the Jacquard coefficient, Rand statistic, and Foles Malo if any one of you knows what these are. Then we add an exercise about finding out which cluster a new data point will be assigned to in the k-means algorithm. 
and now you can see me doing that weird exercise with my neck it's just because i have some pain in my back and in my neck and this is an exercise that my physio is recommending me to do and if you're at the computer for a long time you can try it out too then I had a green smoothie. It was frozen, so it was like ice cream on a hot summer day. It was very nice and healthy thread. Then I switched to another task. So I have a literature review to do for my master's thesis, where I review the state of the art in my subject, compare papers together, and eventually highlight what is novel in my research. So that is what I'm working on right now. I was reading a paper called Unsupervised Home Monitoring of Parkinson's Disease Motor Symptoms Using Body-Worn Accelerometers. While I'm reading, I am also making a table for every paper that I'm reading to be able to compare them together. So I have this big table and notion that looks just like an Excel table where I compare the variables in the paper together. And then I quickly had dinner because I was running out of time and I had my night class at 6 p.m. Hello, it is now 6.30 p.m. and my class has started 30 minutes ago. Um, but I was cooking dinner and I started eating at 6. Um, and then I was on YouTube and I actually just discovered a new YouTuber who does like productive uh, videos. He's actually a med student in London and it's really interesting i really like all his videos i feel like i'm gonna binge watch him uh it's been a while since that happened his the name of his channel is um oh i just changed my tab it's called karma medic uh it's really interesting and i will uh, keep diving into his channel so i'll put a link in the description if you wanna uh Ross's videos, I think you will like his videos too if you like mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now I will meet with my teammate for my data mining class um, because we have a big project for the whole semester on that data mining. We're using a data set that's on Parkinson's disease um, for my master's and we need to figure out what we're going to do for the project so I'm going to meet up with him and talk about that. So I met with my teammate and discussed the project. I also had some chocolate cookies as you can see for my dessert. For the class that night, the professor was meeting up with every team, so we just ended up waiting for four hours to meet her. And at almost 10 p.m. we finally talked with the professor. So that's how I ended the vlog and went to bed. I was just so tired, I was just uh, done with the day uh, at 10 p.m. <laughs> So here it is, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and subscribe and visit my blog and all of these things. <laughs> Thanks for watching!